<laughs> what is happening, Magnesites? So, uh, let's talk about this, shall we? Let's talk about this. So, by the way, my reaction is up on Patreon right now. And I lost it at the part that I will reveal at the end of this review, of course. So, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode of WandaVision. <laughs> so, in this episode, you know, we're getting more of, you know, what we've been having, but certain things are dropping. You know what I mean? Like, now... Things are starting to distort. Things are starting to show themselves. Like, she used her powers in front of people. And her and Vision are actually discussing that in front of people. And they're not noticing it. They're kids. They start out the show as, as infants. And then a minute later... They're like five and they find a dog and they tell the kids that they can't really have a dog or won't be ready for a dog until they're 10. And they're like, no, 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 no. And they grow to 10 years old. By the way, this one was based on Family Ties. That was a uh, episode that Michael, Michael J. Fox was in when he was younger. Um, and... The chick that's always coming over that's the neighbor says to them at one point, do you want to do that again? Ask them about running the line through again, like like they're on set acting. I was like, I definitely recognize that. I was like, I was like, wait a minute. She recognizes that they're filming a television show? What is going on here? And then Vision's in the office. And the Indian dude, um, well, after the, they get this email and everybody starts reading it at the same time, which is really ominous and weird, he touches the uh, Indian dude's head and it, because he had to spark something with the computer and something, and then he did it with the guy, and then all of a sudden the guy wakes up and realizes that he's been captive and doesn't know where he is and what time it is, where his phone is, he needs to call his family, all this and that. And apparently uh, Wanda, uh, she she's manipulating reality, of course. We talked about this in the beginning, you know, just talking about WandaVision. You know, she has reality warping abilities. She probably, you know, constructed this place as her little safe haven type of thing and you're seeing that that's basically what's going on um they think that she stole vision there's footage of her stealing vision's body violating his living will I'm like vision's got a living will uh okay um <laughs> and they actually analyze um the chick Rambo, by the way, does everybody else think of Rambo? We they think of Rambo. I mean, I can't hear the name Rambo without thinking, you know, Rambo. Ah! You know what I mean? Anyway, her outfit was um, bulletproof. She took a gun and shot the clothes. It's, it's made of Kevlar because she wore Kevlar when she was sucked in, so... She manipulates it, whatever material you're wearing, to fit her reality. Yeah. So, anyway. <sighs> they get further into the show. The dog dies. It eats some azalea bush leaves or something. I didn't know that that killed dogs. Um, they fly a drone in. And you find out this one dude, the one dude... That uh, she's that Rambo's cool with. He's a dick. He basically he tries to kill Wanda um, uh, with a drone. When they're trying to talk to her, he's like, "Take the shot." And I'm like, "What?" So yeah, he's a dick anyway. You can see where he's steering it. He's calling Wanda a terrorist. 
even after she joined the Avengers and helped, and he's calling her a terrorist. You can see he's the villain of this right now, at least one of the villains. And possibly Wanda's one of the villains. By the way, they touched on some Easter eggs right here when she was talking, when they were talking, and she was like, well, she could have defeated Thanos on her own if he hadn't called out that strike. And that's right, like everybody was talking about that, you know, after seeing the movie, it was like, yo, Wanda could have killed him on her own. As a matter of fact, if she hadn't wasted time, because she was enjoying torturing him. And I understand that. I mean, Thanos took her sex doll from her. So I get that. I understand. You know, she had to waste her time and just <clears throat> tore him apart on instant, instantaneously. But anyway, and then they told me, well, Captain Marvel came close. And that's true, too. It's like, oh, okay, then I like, I like that type of fan service Easter egg shit. As long as it's not too much, like Dragon Ball Super, well, we're good. So, anyway, so going towards the end, you know, like, her and Vision have a confrontation because he's seeing what's going on. Like, the kids are asking her to bring the dog back, and... He said, uh, he told her about the incident at the office with the Indian dude. And he's like, you can't control me like you control them. And she's like, can I? And she walks away. This is all while, like, the end credits are rolling for the show and the music is playing. It's weird. It's, but it's, I like how they're doing this. And, um, you know, he confronts her and, I want to know what's going on. And he flies up and hovers, and she flies up and hovers, and she's like, you've never talked to me like this before. I'm scared, and this, and da, 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 da. The doorbell rings. She goes to answer the door, and you recognize that it's Quicksilver's hair. It's him. It's her brother. It's like, holy shit, yo, Quicksilver's hair. But it's the Quicksilver from the X-Men movies. That are crossing things up. I love this. I love it. I have wanted crossover stuff for years. I have wanted and I hate that the studios don't do it. I fucking hate it. They can and they should and now they're doing it. Finally, we get what we want as fans. We're getting crossovers in different universes. I fucking love it. I'm hearing... If you don't want to hear this, click away now. But I'm hearing that there's a, there could be a major player dropping in. And no, it's not Doctor Strange. Ready for it? It could be Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, Disney, I absolutely fucking love what you are doing with your television series. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait for Falcon and Winter Soldier. I can't wait for it. I cannot wait. I was talking to my boy the other day. He's like, he had a concern. Like, oh, man, like, with the Mandalorian and this, like, how are they going to top it? I told him I don't think they need to top it. All they need to do is run the same race. As long as it's as good or better, we're good. But as long as it's the, that's the lowest common denominator there, as long as it's good as them, I'm fine. I am enjoy I gotta say, I'm pretty much enjoying WandaVision as much, almost as much as it's running, you know what I mean? It was slow for me because I was like, well, okay, where you go? You know what I mean? I was on defense with this. I was on defense with it. But I, I can't lie, I was on the defense with Mandalorian too. Because I was like, after what they did with Star Wars, I didn't know what they were going to do. But in the very first episode, oh, they dropped my guard like that with Baby Yoda. But with this, it took them a couple episodes. Because I wanted it to be what it is. And that is, like, okay, weird scenario here of her own reality. But we're getting clues and mysteries. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is, you know. But I forgot to mention the part where she, 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 you know, she comes out after they tried to kill her with the drone, and you know she's telling all the, you know, sword or whatever she's telling them. Basically, no one's ever going to take, you know, 
basically her happiness away from her. And, uh, you know, being Rambo tried to talk to her, that wasn't helping. Um, she got in every soldier's head, and they all turned the guns on the dude, the, the evil dude. So I was just like, man, yeah, and she walked right back in like it was nothing. I was like, man, she is getting dark. She is turning dark. But hey, you know what? You know what, guys? I got to tell you, you know, after having your brother killed and then having your synthetic boyfriend killed and that you were in love with, I mean, you know, that can turn somebody dark, you know? All she needed was a little push. <laughs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. This episode was five out of five. Woo's for me. Ten million subscribers. Woo!